Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been long since we have looked into the Bitcoin chart and that's because of the bear market and there's not much volatility and so we are back with a new video and in today's video we're going to talk about the current price action of Bitcoin and uh, how it has broke $25,000 and we have entered a mini bull market or a continuation bull market. We look into this video and we're going to talk about the Bitcoin dominance chart too and uh, we'll, we'll find out the answers of why aren't alls pumping and the money flow into bit into the whole crypto market. So let's look into Bitcoin at the first place. So in the last 10 days, we could see Bitcoin really jumped nearly 45%. So uh, the last pumps which we could see at this place, like in which was in Feb and stuff, uh, this was low volume pumps. We didn't have enough volume in these pumps. But if you see over here, this pumps had really good vo volume we could see the bounce was legit there was actual money flow and to back this we could even see the total market cap it bounced from 880 billion to nearly 1.13 trillion so we could see a good amount of money flow into bitcoin and currently bitcoin is trading near 27 800 dollars so where do i think it's headed so at the moment, the major resistance is near $30,000. We have had a weekly closing about $25,000, which is really great. And we just even confirmed that we have entered, uh, at least for short term, a, bam, a bull market area. And about what you see, there's a lot of fun in Twitter, to be honest, which I have been seeing. And one more reason for me to make in this video. Some people claim Bitcoin to reach near 12 to 13K, which is extreme. Uh, a minimum 50% dump from current price and there are some people calling Bitcoin at a million dollar within three months so even that is extreme so as analysts and as uh, people who invest in the crypto what we have to understand over here is that both these scenarios are extreme so it's very likely that in the next three months none of these two actually take place and Bitcoin can keep ranging at this zone and we can see always do 2 to 5x so what's going to happen next? The next thing I expect is Bitcoin with the current US banking sector uh, crashing down. I expect Bitcoin to go test this area at least the 30,000 range because there's a lot of liquidity over here. A lot of sellers will be uh, will get active and this is a place where we can expect a pullback. And even if you get a pullback from uh, 27,800 to $25,000 uh, 25, and we close above this range still it's really good to buy and especially alls so this dominance uh, if you look at the dominance chart it's in one hour it's it's like clean showing that it's the whole money flow into the bitcoin there isn't anywhere else money flowing at the moment it's completely into bitcoin and and maybe ai coins too and if i don't see anytime soon the only place we could see is at this zone we could see a, a small resistance and I guess we'll fill this area. It's going to be filled at Bitcoin at 30k. So when Bitcoin hits 30k and this dominance hits here, I guess both are going to take a tank down and we could see good, what is it, discount in alts too at that range. So that's the only, uh, what is it, scene where I see the dominance falling. At this point, it's just uh, clean money into Bitcoin. And even the total market cap, even it looks really good, we could see that there is good money flow into Bitcoin at the moment and it's a good uptrend going on. So there's just a small resistance zone over here and this is a zone where it can get rejected. As soon as we close about this, I guess even as soon as we close about this, we could see Bitcoin actually test 30k. We need it to close over here so that Bitcoin test 30k and we could see money into alls too. So that's what, uh, what I would say and the alls which I'll be trading uh, if I would be investing into would be AVAX would be one of them because it hasn't given much you know volatility recently it's just haven't given much gains to be honest it's just up and down up and down it's good volatile but not enough gains to be honest according to its name and there is one more I would stay away from Seoul I would stay away from Seoul for time being because because of the FTX events and then the coins which I would be invested would be short term Doge because of Elon and Twitter. So even Doge would be one of my alts which I'll be trading. And of course, a Wi-Fi or DeFi coin. So where I would be putting my money into two. And Quinty, uh, I would love to buy Quinty below 110. 
anything below even 115 below 115 i'm just going to put my money into because i've seen it multiple times it's 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 really good coin so q and will be one more of a con uh one more of my coins which where i'll be putting money so i'll be making one more video where i'll be putting my money into uh, alts and i'll be showing you which all alts i'll be buying so at the moment there's no reason for panic and to understand why or uh, why money is not flowing to alts it's because later on after bitcoin starts ranging that's when money is going to flow from bitcoin into alts so just keep holding your all bags and you would make really good gains out of it. So thank you guys for watching. Have a good day.